In today's video, I'm looking at certain crypto narratives and some of the best projects that you can buy within them right now. Specifically, four narratives the real world assets, freelancing, decentralized science, and blockchain tools. There's a lot to cover today, so let's get started. And the first narrative, as well as some of my favorite projects within it, are the blockchain tools. This is quickly becoming a very important narrative to me because it focuses on interoperability. I mean, interoperability is just about giving you the best of everything everywhere all at once. The first project within this niche should be no surprise to you and that's the XP Network. I love XP Network because it's a very useful tool and it's going to benefit a lot of people within the NFT space to securely move their assets from one blockchain to another. You can see there's a lot of you know, blockchains integrated into it already. Ethereum, Polygon, Tron, Algorand, Tezos, Phantom, Cardano, you know, so much more. And a very powerful tool is being used by multiple projects right now, a multi-chain NFT bridge. XP Network enables multi-chain support out of the box for any minted NFTs. So the reason why I love this project, you know, the reason why I love blockchain tools, like I said, is that interoperability. Projects that are blockchain agnostic will be very relevant because many crypto projects out there right now just want to be able to do the best they can do. So Ipswap, a very popular rising decentralized exchange, is preparing for NFTs bridging to Polygon. This is super bullish and they are using the XP Network. Nier, also using XP Network and you know, this project has a lot of partnerships, has a lot of glowing reviews from many, many different projects and it's got a lot of funding as well. So XP Network is a project that I have no doubt in my mind will do very well, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenally well in the next bull run. So the next project I'm covering within this sector of um, blockchain tools is the Injective Protocol and Injective Protocol is another great one, you know, it's a mid-cap gem and it has a market cap of over $500 million for a good reason. And guys, check out the amount of tokens in circulation, 80% in circulation, something you would like to see, especially for a project that is um, evaluated as high as this $500 million in market cap, so there's no too much fear of inflation. Injective Protocol is another great one. Injective Protocol is an interoperable layer 1 blockchain for building powerful DeFi applications. Injective uniquely provides plug and play financial infrastructure primitives such as high performance on chain decentralized exchange infrastructure. So, this is a big deal, you know, the fact that a lot of projects will find it useful. The fact that a lot of projects can build a lot of DeFi tools using Injective Protocol, I think that's a big deal, you know. So, this is one of the highest projects out there when it comes to this interoperable blockchain blockchain tool narrative that I'm very interested in and you can see there's a lot of things that um, Injective Protocol makes possible for this project. The blockchain built for finance. The next one is Graphlink and the world of DeFi is built mainly with smart contracts. So if Graphlink Protocol can present an integrated development environment that makes coding easy, that makes it visually engaging, this would make it easy for developers to get started in the crypto space building DeFi products and tools. And I think this is a very good and unique mission of the Graphlink chain. Graphlink chain has a market cap of $4 million and is seeing quite a nice um, uptrend today, about 10% gains. Graphlink is a set of tools including an IDE and an engine that runs simultaneously with multiple blockchains. Remember, a blockchain tool that focuses on interoperability, I believe they will do well because they are taking the best of multiple blockchains. So, Graphlink is a set of tools including an IDE with multiple blockchains and centralized data stream to offer a service of automation of a process without coding skill required, a no-code movement and I think that's going to be something that will be very relevant in crypto. The no-code blockchain for Web3 automation and dApps automate and perform over hundreds of actions based on events triggers on-chain and off-chain events. So yeah, I think this project is going to do well. You can see the visual coding aspect of it and the fact that they can help people feel comfortable and get started with building products in the crypto space is a good thing. So we're going to move on to the next narrative in my book and I believe this narrative is going to do well because you know it's providing a real world solution to a problem especially within the web 2 space and that's the freelance aspect. You know freelancing is something 
that a lot of people have turned to because they want to connect to clients all over the world and the blockchain makes this experience better it makes it borderless it makes it tax-free and it makes it efficient and there are a few projects within this region and i've been digging deep to just find the good ones among them and the first one i'm going to cover is the hive project hive is a great project and i think it's going to do very well especially because it's the best freelance project out there on the blockchain that we can see that is working right now higher with crypto you can directly pay for services in cryptocurrencies you own without having to exchange them first ensuring no value is lost in the process so this is a very big deal especially when it comes to the crypto space we want to be able to see the value of cryptocurrencies without exchanging them for fiat first and you know hive has low fees you can get staking rewards and so on you can see the platform right here is being used right now you can see different cryptos being accepted for payments for different works you can see usdt usdc ethereum um uft um ont mask and so on so i think hive has a lot of potential and the next project is another one that i've been covering recently and is a low cap gem very undervalued in my opinion is lanceria lanceria is another freelance platform that is on quite a deep right now so if you want to get some exposure i think now is a good time lanceria has a market cap of just 700 million dollars in market cap but 77 percent in circulation which is very good for a low cap project this is a project that just like hive provides a platform to help clients and professionals to connect and Lanceria is partnered with a lot of interesting people which I'm going to cover great, um, very soon. Lanceria is tackling a multi-billion dollar industry and helping you know freelancers to connect easily. It's also got several tools that they'll find useful like um, getting helping professionals match their clients properly, teaching hubs and so on. So you can see here that Lanceria is partnered with Chainlink and not just Chainlink IBM as well and they use Amazon Web Services and many other interesting partnership but I think you know it's impressive for a low-cap gem to be a data provider on the Chainlink network so um, a web trip platform for freelancers now a data provider on Chainlink's decentralized Oracle network I think this is a great um, thing this is a great deal that will be relevant to many other projects that are rising up within the freelance sector and Lancera being a tool that can be used as well as being within the freelance niche it combines two of these narratives that i really like very much the next narrative we are going to be looking at are the real world assets and i like this one in particular because it's also like the freelance aspect creates a borderless means of investing companies have found out that there's a lot of untapped markets all over the world and the blockchain gives them accessibility to these markets and allowing them to digitize real life assets makes it easy you know on the blockchain with the transparency and the security and you know all of the benefits of the blockchain so i think real world assets will do very well and the first project is Relio. Relio is a good one you know i like the project but i don't like the tokenomics nine percent in circulation is not good it's not too good to be honest and you know i'm going to excuse that and make it a high risk play because it's got a low market cap about 1.7 million dollars in market cap so yeah Relio. one of the main reasons why i really like Relio is they provide a lot of DeFi tools for these companies to get started to help them um, tap into these markets and like i always say projects that provide tools that other um, people will find relevant is a good thing DeFi meeting real world assets Relio is upgrading traditional private equity returns by introducing a decentralized finance layer so yeah the next one i'm going to cover is is Elify. Elify is another project that you know I really like because I verified for myself that they actually get the legal rights to these assets that they are digitizing, providing loans based on this collateral. So I think um, Elify is a great one and is a project I called out to my patrons at 400k in market cap, over 7x at its peak. So if you don't want to miss gains like that, be sure to consider my patron. Just a quick plug-in. And yeah, Elify is a very good one. I mean if you take a look at their website their approach to um, real world assets is very interesting properties in south korea properties in the united states of america properties that would not normally be accessible to many other people all around the world is now accessible using um elify i think this is a great deal and you know you can check out some of my lives why i'm bullish on 
Elify, direct participation in decision making, unlimited deposits, no KYC, and a transparent loan process. This transparency is extremely important because you can check out for yourself these properties, you can see the properties, and, and you can see the legal deeds to the property. These people have access to it and are actually, you know, giving you the opportunity to buy parts of it when it becomes digitized using crypto and NFTs. So I think Elify is a great, great one. Um, it's totally has been audited which is also great to see by Celtic and um, Haichi Labs I think it will do very well you can see the legal support here you can see there is a registered um, crypto project and you know um, projects that are regulatory compliance is something that I believe would also do well so the last project within this narrative is the labs group labs group is another interesting one you know good marketing good partnerships and also within these real world assets that i've been talking about for the past few minutes labs group is disrupting the real estate investments in the largest assets class through the world's first end-to-end -end real estate investment ecosystem by fractionalizing real estate investments so yeah labs group is another one within this niche and i think it's going to do well they are partnered with stainx and you know it's, you can get started using it also partnered with morpheus lab a great blockchain tool that i didn't cover in this video but i think will do very well so labs group is an interesting one you can get it on kucoin bsmart or gate.io and the last native like i said in this video that we are going to cover is the decentralized science i believe this is a niche that has a lot of potential because it has a very good justification on the blockchain we want knowledge to be open source we want knowledge to be verifiable we don't want it to be biased we want it to be secure we want it to be accessible to all of the masses and i think the blockchain is a great tool for this and there's also the option of monetizing your information your knowledge and the first project on that list is the genomes dao genomes dao is also seeing a good uptrend today 27 percent gains and is a great project uh the tokenomics are not showing really well right here on coin market cap but you know the idea of the project is excellent genomes dao is a private and secure dna data bank that puts you in control of your genomic data you know and i think this is a great idea you know genomes dao is your dna bank you secure your dna um and then you can earn from it you privately learn about your genes and you know genomic data is very um, personal and it can be something that a lot of people want to keep private so the blockchain grants you this anonymity as well as earning potential for your data so i think genomes dao is a great project i believe it has a lot of long-term potential especially you know sitting at the market cap of about three million dollars yeah this is a project that has a market cap of three million dollars let me just quickly um bring that up here so here on CoinGecko, you can see the tokenomics more clearly. This is a market cap of $3.5 million and over 27% in circulation. So yeah, I think this project has a lot of long-term potential and I believe it will do well, especially within this decentralized science narrative that I'm talking of. And the next project is the Cleantech CTI. Cleantech CTI has a good utilization of artificial intelligence and what it does is, you know, it quickly uses AI to gather a lot of data to help doctors and um, researchers narrow down on where to carry out their clinical trials helping patients and um, researchers to quickly carry out their tests and trials in an efficient manner saving time and money i think um, clean tech cti is a great project with a lot of long-term potential and it's got um, 65 percent in circulation good tokenomics and four million dollars in market cap so a low cap gem in my opinion I've actually covered many other narratives that I believe will do well in the crypto space and especially in the next bull run. If you don't want to miss any of that, be sure to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've subscribed by now. Like, share, comment down below on any other project or topic you'd like me to cover and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe and take care.